Okay, now let's talk about escape velocity. Now, what is escape velocity? Okay, so here's the definition of escape velocity. The escape velocity, or we, uh, the symbol is VE, okay, from the Earth, okay, the escape velocity from the Earth is defined as the minimum velocity, okay, it's the minimum velocity required by a body on the Earth's surface. Okay, from where? From the surface. Uh, to escape completely from the gravitational pull of the Earth. Uh, want to escape from what? From the gravitational pull. So what is gravitational pull? Uh, the gravitational force. So in order to escape completely, that means you want to achieve gravitational force equal to zero. Uh, so... Um, so this is actually the minimum velocity, yeah? The minimum velocity required. More than this velocity also can escape, okay? So escape velocity is just the minimum value in order to escape completely from the gravitational pull, okay? So it starts from the Earth's surface, yeah? It must start from Earth's surface. So we can imagine like this, uh, like this rocket, okay? So this rocket, uh, of course, uh, we, we know that <laughs> Uh, as a rocket doesn't function like uh, immediately he has this escape velocity and then he can go out from the or from the uh, gravitational pull okay uh, uh, we can just imagine like uh, we take some other example like maybe Superman Superman okay he jumped with this escape velocity okay escape velocity and uh, he definitely can uh, go uh, free from the gravitational force or gravitational pull of the Earth. Okay? So, it must uh, start from the surface. Okay? Start from the surface. Uh, imagine like this uh, rocket. Okay? Uh, he, okay? He, he launched with the escape velocity. Okay? Escape velocity. Uh, if uh, he go up higher and higher, Okay, this escape velocity can help this rocket to reach this point uh, where the potential energy becomes zero. Uh, finally, the potential energy becomes maximum at zero joule. Okay, uh, at this point, it is already free from gravitational force or gravitational pull because we know that at this point, when potential energy becomes zero, the gravitational force and acceleration due to gravity uh, both are zero. Uh, the gravitational force becomes zero, the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational field strength becomes zero also. Okay, all of them become zero. Okay, so uh, escape velocity is the minimum, minimum velocity required to go from the surface, to go from the surface to the, to the point where potential energy becomes zero. Uh, because at this point, it is free from gravitational force or gravitational pull towards the Earth. Uh, so, uh, what is the minimum velocity required? Let's say if you want to, you are a superman, you want to jump to the space uh, free from the gravitational force. Uh, so, you need to achieve this escape velocity, this minimum, minimum velocity. Okay, I just want to write the word minimum there. Okay, you need to achieve this minimum velocity required, this minimum escape velocity. Uh, then, if you can achieve this minimum escape velocity, surely you can jump straight to the space, free from gravitational force or gravitational pull. Okay? Uh, so, uh, we can say, uh, uh, just like this one, lah, yeah? uh, or we simplify the diagram, become this one. Okay? Uh, so the superman has to jump with this escape velocity to go from the surface okay this the the initial point is actually start from surface to the final point uh, we can say this is uh, at infinity okay the distance is infinity uh, where the final point where the potential energy is zero joule uh, this one it has maximum potential energy uh, maximum potential energy Okay, distance infinity. Uh, whereas at the surface, what is the potential energy? Uh, at the surface, uh, we use the formula equal negative. Uh, the, the initial point, it has the potential energy negative gm m over 
uh, r. The r here, the r here is radius of Earth, uh, because you start from the surface. So the r here, the distance, the distance of this uh, of Superman to the center of Earth is the radius of Earth itself. Yeah? When you are at the surface, when you are at the surface, uh, your distance to the center of Earth. Uh, is the radius of Earth. Uh, so this one we put radius of Earth. Uh, okay? So, uh, escape velocity will bring you from the surface uh, where the potential energy is negative GMM over radius of Earth to the final point where the potential energy is zero. Zero joule. Uh, potential energy maximum. So, uh, bring it from here to here. That's the escape velocity. Uh, at this point, it is free from gravitational pull. So now, how the question is how to calculate this escape velocity? So uh, we use the uh, principle of conservation of energy. Uh, okay, we use the principle of conservation of energy. So uh, we know that at this initial point, it has the kinetic energy. Yeah, at this initial point, it has the kinetic energy because it has the escape velocity okay it has the kinetic energy uh, yeah initial point it has the kinetic energy because it, it has the escape velocity at the final point the kinetic energy becomes zero so it just left with potential energy uh, so it's actually changing from kinetic energy to potential energy uh, so or we, in other words we can say when the superman goes from the surface to the space uh, it is uh, the kinetic energy drop kinetic energy drop but potential energy increase uh, the kinetic energy here drop to zero but the potential energy uh, rises from uh, negative gmm over radius of earth to zero uh, zero joule of potential energy is actually the maximum potential energy okay uh, so kinetic energy change to potential energy so we use the principle of conservation of energy to build the equations for the escape velocity, which is this one. So let us look at how we build, build it. So um, we, uh, we can say uh, the change of kinetic energy or we can say the drop of kinetic energy causes the rise in gravitational potential energy or the change in kinetic energy is equal to the change of gravitational potential energy. Uh, so uh, we just use the half mv square, half mv square. So uh, in, this is the initial kinetic energy. Half mv square is the initial kinetic energy at the surface. Uh, achieve the escape velocity. Uh, this is ve, the escape velocity. Uh, this kinetic energy is needed to pay the debt of energy. Uh, uh, to pay the debt of energy it owes to the earth. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so uh, this one change of potential energy is we take the uh, final, we take the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy. Uh, okay, uh, we take the final minus initial. Uh, this is the kinetic energy needed uh, to, uh, to, uh, to cause the change in potential energy. So we take the uh, final potential energy minus initial potential energy. The final potential energy at infinity. Uh, the final here potential energy is zero uh, zero that's why u at infinity is zero uh, okay and then the initial point initial point is uh, potential energy at the surface of the earth uh, potential energy at the surface of the earth we take the radius of earth uh, that's why here we use the radius of earth uh, the radius of earth okay so the potential uh, initial potential energy is uh, potential energy using the radius of earth uh, or negative gmm over radius of earth so which is this one negative gmm over radius of earth okay uh, and then finally minus minus become negative negative become positive uh, so the formula become uh, gmm over radius of earth uh, this is radius of earth okay uh, so uh okay just want to write this uh, over here me 
for a second right uh, so okay so uh, after that uh, here we have a uh, half uh, mass of the of the rocket no? or superman okay um, so here we can cut the test mass this is the test mass and uh, the test mass is being cut off okay the test mass is being cut off and then we rearrange the formula we get the formula escape velocity equal to square root and uh, this 2 multiplied above we get 2 gm uh, over radius of earth this m is the point mass this m is the big m is the point mass because the test mass already been cancelled off you see that the test mass already been cancelled off. What left is the big M, the point mass. Ah. So this is uh, the equations to calculate the escape velocity. Yeah? Uh, the, the equations to calculate the, equa the escape velocity. Uh, okay, this is the equation. Ah. So, uh, okay, you got it? Uh, this, is the, this is the one. Uh, so this is the formula for escape velocity. Okay, so the top here is the point mass, the mass of Earth. Okay, and below here is radius of Earth. Uh, is radius of Earth. Okay, so point mass, uh, the mass of uh, Earth, or if you use other planet, not the not the Earth, the like other planet like Jupiter, uh, then this one is the mass of Jupiter, and the uh, radius below. If you use other planet. Uh, then it's radius of uh, let's say Jupiter. If, if if top here is mass of Jupiter, then below is radius of the planet Jupiter. Okay, so it looks at what planet you use. Uh, okay. Uh, if Earth, then mass of Earth, radius of Earth. So this is the formula for to calculate escape velocity. So you see different mass, a uh, different planet, uh, different planet, you will have different escape velocity depend on the mass and radius of the planet okay so if uh, like jupiter planet jupiter then here you use mass of jupiter and here you use radius of planet jupiter so then the escape velocity will be different uh, normally if a bigger planet will have higher escape velocity because it has bigger mass a uh, smaller planet like earth or mars planet mars will have a lower mass, lower mass of planet, and lower escape velocity. You can uh, escape from the gravitational pull of planet Mars much easier than the escape velocity from the planet Jupiter. Uh, okay? So, uh, after that, we also can change this formula into another formula, which is uh, escape velocity equal to square root 2 g r to gravity, gravity times radius of Earth. Uh, for this formula, it on, can only be used in the Earth only. Uh, this one only can be used on Earth, not on other planet. This on Earth only. Uh, why? Because we use the value of G here, which is 9.81. Uh, 9.81. And uh, this formula, Okay, the gravity on uh, the surface of Earth, on the surface of Earth, uh, yeah, on the surface of Earth uh, is 9.81. This one is only on the surface of Earth only. Earth only. If you take other planet, surface of other planet, yeah, the gravity at the surface of other planet, they are not 9.81. Understand? They are not 9.81. So this formula can only be used for Earth only. Uh, but for this formula, you can use for uh, Earth and also other planet. Ah, be careful. Huh? Be careful. This formula you can use for Earth or other planet. But for this formula, it's only for Earth only. Because we use the value G9.81 here. Okay? Because G gravity 9.81 is only valid is only valid for the surface of Earth only. Uh, for, surf for the gravity on the surface of other planet, they have different value of G. Okay? Ah, so, uh, actually, how do we arrive to this formula? Okay? Uh, because in previous, you, uh, you learned about this gravitational field strength. 
you learn about gravitational field strength which is a equal to g m over r square okay we just apply this formula a equal to g g m over r square uh, and then we apply into here okay a equal to g m over r square okay um on the earth surface on the earth surface the the distance to the center of earth is the radius of earth uh, okay uh, is radius of earth yeah um, taking um like here uh, this one you see when the when the object is over here the distance of the object to the center of earth is just the radius of earth uh, okay radius of earth r is radius of earth and the gravitational field strength is the value of gravity uh, which is, this g is actually 9.81 uh, so this is only for the earth earth only okay earth only so g is 9.81 so uh, that's why this r we put uh, this radius of earth and this a value we put g which is 9.81 okay uh, when, when, so this means that when you are at the earth surface when you are at the earth surface your gravitational field strength is g yeah, your ag is g when your r is radius of earth on the earth surface then your gravitational field strength on the surface is value g uh, 9.81 okay uh, so and then this radius of earth multiplied to the top we got this uh, gm gm equal to gravity radius of earth square uh, so that's why we can substitute this gm on the top with gre square and this is what we get uh, 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 look at how i do it yeah so this is the formula for escape velocity square root uh, 2g mass of the, the mass of earth over the radius of earth okay now i substitute this formula okay because i got gm gm equal to gre square so i substitute it to here gre square okay uh, and then uh, be divided by radius of earth so i can div uh, i can you know i can um, cancel the radius of earth ah so you see that i got this formula Ah, so here become 2 gr 2 gravity radius of earth okay uh, so this is how we get this formula so uh, uh, escape velocity has two formula you can either use this one or this one but this one you can use for earth and other planets but for this one is only for earth only it's only for earth okay so uh, i hope you enjoy these uh, videos Okay, now we're going for the, uh, the last video.